Hi guys, good morning. It is your girl Belinda. Hi everybody. Just got a great workout in this morning. A real good workout in. <laughs> Remember, every minute counts. Even if it's 20 minutes, 25 minutes, half hour, everything counts. Make sure you always put your first self first. Um, I'm getting my hair dyed a little bit here. I'm going a little lighter brown. Yes, I'm done with the black. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be starting to get nice out hopefully in the next couple months so I want to start working on my hair because I do do my hair by myself I like to do it by myself it's the cheaper way the better way and I'm used to doing my own hair all the time however um, as you see here the snow is melting in the back we got some more snow on the east side and it's just been really really bad out here but it's nice and sunny today actually okay getting some love there it's nice and sunny out today so up to that i have that appointment and that beautiful wonderful dish that's going to be coming up later on this this latish afternoonish but look for it a little later because it takes some time to upload um so i miss you guys so much and i cannot wait to do a quick little one-on-one -on -one with you a simple dish like i said i just want to surprise you guys it's just a little bit of pasta and some nice uh, meat in the middle and some cheeses so good um, so I can't wait to chef that up later on today however the kiddos are online and I have my tea here and I gotta get going soon get up in that shower and handle my day um, so let's see what my tea says today all right let's do the flip side all right let's see what it says I have three of these bad boys today I did a double whammy workout okay Accepting the challenge you are facing, it may become your greatest gift. Wow, I like that. I really like that. That is beautiful. Yes, every day is a new day. Remember that. Okay, and give thanks for unknown blessings that are already on the way. Wow, these are really good. I like, <laughs> I like what I'm getting today. <laughs> All right, these thoughts, beautiful. Just what the doctor ordered today. Okay, life is best lived by focusing on your goals and dancing through all other distractions. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you. Look at my beautiful tea. I had like three cups of those bad boys already. <laughs> so yes, definitely my uh, spiritual beautiful blessings out there are talking to me and one of them are the greatest and which is my mother all right guys um so i gotta get going i cannot wait to catch up with you guys later i still have a super duper lot to do um in my room hanging my my grandkids pictures back up and i'm still helping my daughter with her room as well so um all these clips are going to be together so i will catch you later your girl bye Hi guys, it is your girl Belinda, finally in my kitchen. <laughs> I miss you guys so much. All right guys, so today I'm finally gonna do that delicious platter dish that I'm gonna share with you guys today. So excited to do this dish. It's one of my favorite dishes I haven't done in a while. I believe I did this dish in the beginning of my YouTube uh, last, last year, going on two years. Um, in March, it'll be two years that I've been tubing it on my YouTube channel. So up to that, so happy. And I'm going to keep pushing on my channel. I've been getting great things are happening. And I'm, like I said, hopefully, I don't know, everybody's talking about the COVID being so, uh, so, um, I don't know. You just have to be careful with, you know, putting your food out there. Um, I still want to do my food truck, you know, and so I'm just trying to hold off for next summer i do want to get my truck this summer and be ready for next summer lots to do i'm giving it all to god i'm really praying on a lot of things um due to covid and everything but from what i heard last on the news everything that's going on it looks like everything's gonna still be like this until the summer so i just don't want to even think about it um sometimes watching the news actually stresses me out i just can't do it no more um you know all i do is just pray with my kiddos and pray for better days and just keep praying 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 and that's all i've been doing all right so i have my station ready here for you guys to check out everything i have here um so delicious this is one of my favorite dishes um, if I'm not mistaken I'm doing a little different twist today though I'm adding some 
different ingredients but it's the same meat that I'm using the same pasta the same cheeses and everything else however um I believe when I did do this dish I got over like uh, 2,000 and something views so everybody really liked this dish um, so I, I maybe I'll be able to show it to you in my next video if I can look for it on my channel however so today is a beautiful day we got a lot of Sun in the east side very nice Sun shining through my windows today um, I got some things done this morning got my workout in I'm gonna put all these clips together for you guys and um, I still, like I said, I still have a lot of moving to do uh, between me and my daughter's room. I mean, I mean, girls, we, we, us girls, we have a lot of stuff, clothes, everything, you name it. Uh, my daughter's settled, though. She's good. It's me that I have to get my stuff together. <laughs> However, um, as I was saying, uh, so, yeah, I'm going to make sure that I um, get this dish together for you guys to check out. And um, I'm so excited because this is one of my favorite dishes. So before I do the breakdown, I did want to share something with you guys. Because right before Valentine's Day, my beautiful superwoman, my Miss Superwoman, her husband is gone. Those of you that are all know um, that happened on, I believe it was the 10th, no, the 11th. I believe it was on the 11th, right before Valentine's Day. And I didn't get to share that on my YouTube channel. I am a big, big uh, fan of uh miss superwoman my the first superwoman um that i grew up on as a child and that's linda carta so i just you know my my all my uh my emotions right now or just you know i just feel so bad because you know nobody wants to lose a loved one especially when you have 37 years in as a you know as a partner as a business partner as a husband as you know everything as the father of your kids they have two beautiful um, kids they're all grown up now but um, you know I remember you know watching stuff with you know as her life with this um, beautiful lovely man that you now is in a beautiful heaven place um, it's really sad that you know that we have to go through these things but it is the circle of life um, so I did want to give a shout out to the heavens to Robert Altman and um, I just really feel touched by everything. And I just actually, actually, I said a prayer for her that night. I got on my knees and I said a prayer for her because I love her so very much and for her family and for her to keep her spirits up. And um, she's strong. She's Wonder Woman. Um, but we all, at the end of the day, were very much human at heart. All right, guys. So, yeah, I did want to put that out there very quickly. Um, so, yeah, um, we're going to get right to the ingredients and I'm going to do a flip side real quick. All right. OK, so, of course, it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Um, what I'm doing today is, like I said, uh, it's going to be a rotini pasta with slices of rib. OK. Now, I'm going to give you the little breakdown of this because it's a Mexican style. I forgot to write rib. Sorry about that. And um, it's a Mexican style uh, ribs. Oh, actually, I did write it down down here. So it's a Mexican style flavor. However, they I don't I can't tell you the ingredients because it's already seasoned up. So I can't tell you like the what they have, you know, what they marinate their meat with because that's, you know, their recipe. Um, and their style of doing the the uh, seasoning up the meat is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so I'm sure if you Google it, you can find out. I mean, um, I'm just used to buying it like this, and and I know they have some pepper in it, some other stuff in it. It's Mexican style of seasonings that they have in it. So good. So I'm pretty sure if you Google it, Google it, you'll probably find some of their recipes on this meat. Okay, so. And let's get right to my ingredients. I'm going to do the flip side now. All right. So I have asparagus. I have uh, mozzarella back here, cheese. I have two red potatoes. I have black pepper, corn. I have about, I would say like a cup of uh, baby mushrooms. My barilla rotini pasta. This is the one I like to use for this dish. I have garlic cloves. You're only going to need two garlic cloves for about six people for this dish. Um, I have butter. I have my parsley flakes. And that's pretty much it for this dish. 
Now this is the star of the dish. Now if you go on my channel, you'll see that I made brex breakfast with these babies with dippy eggs. They almost look like how they slice them like bacon. And they have little uh, bones, little small bones, brown bones in them all the way up. So these are the rib styles. This is the way the Mexicans do their rib style. They slice it very thin like bacon. I love it. So I already separated these. And however, this is how they come. They come in two. And you just have to kind of like separate them just like that. Now these bad boys are going to be going into the oven. Okay, I'm going to let them sit in the oven for a little bit. Then I'm going to take them out and I'm going to chop them in between the bones here. And I'll do little videos. Chop them in between the bones. Fry them a little bit with all these beautiful ingredients. And then of course we're going to add our pasta. So please don't miss it. This is going to be a delicious dish. And um, if I can't find that video, because I have over a thousand videos that, you know, I, I have to find the video that I did. But I'm sure I can find it. I just have to go to my most popular videos on my YouTube channel. And therefore, I should be able to find that dish. But this is just a different twist, just different um, ingredients that I have going on and um, everything else. So I'll make sure I get that and add that into this video. So that way you can check that out as well. Um, so... Uh, as I was saying, um, it's beautiful on the east side. The snow is melting. Everything's looking real pretty again. So hopefully, I mean, we'll see. You know, I, I'm not quoting on anything anymore. You can't predict the weather. All right. So your girl, I will see you in a little bit with all these clips. And of course, you'll have all these clips together for you to enjoy. So again, I just want to thank everybody out there for supporting me on my YouTube channel, for um, just being there for me 100% um like i said it's been really rough and i'm really trying to put together a lot of things for this summer for next summer um because it's just it's just horrible we're still going through a lot over here and i want to make sure that i'm good and ready for myself and that everybody's good and ready for me <laughs> all right guys so i love you guys so very much and i'll catch you in a little bit so please enjoy all my little clips that i'm going to be putting together in this video and again thanks for supporting me my channel and i love you guys so very much so catch you in a little bit your girl Okay, so. Okay guys, so I quick wanted to share with you guys as well. Um, I'm gonna say it in English and I'm gonna also say it in Spanish, okay? All right, so here we go. Rotini, rotini pasta with slices of ribs, okay? And it's a Mexican style flavor, ribs. Okay, so in Spanish, it is a slice, I'm, I'm sorry, costillas de res. Costilla de res. So good. So that's what I'm chefing up today. Like I said, you're, you're, you can definitely Google um, what they season it up with. Hopefully you can see that. I know I Googled it up before, but I'm so just used to buying them and just cooking them. So, um, you know, but you're more than welcome to Google um, the Mexican style foods and all that. And I'm pretty sure something will come up. All right, guys. So here we go. It's time to chef.
Okay guys, so everything's in the oven as far as the beautiful ribs, sliced Mexican style ribs. Then over here, I have everything still cooking, which is the vegetables and um, the mushrooms, the asparagus, um, the garlic, the uh, bologna that I have in there as well. And so I'm gonna do a quick flip side because I just cleaned my station. All right, so over here, this is the mozzarella. I love me some cheese. Um, so this is a, a key to this dish. You don't want to use no other cheese when it comes to this dish. So I recommend that you use the mozzarella cheese, okay? And this one is actually, now wait. This is the one that I used the other day as well on my other dishes. I love this cheese. I have this a lot in my refrigerator. So Bella Gusto. And it is fresh mozzarella, American's favorite cheese. There you have it. All right. So here's my pot. And um, you want to cook this on a low medium, okay, just to make sure you don't overcook the mushrooms. You want the mushrooms to still have that, that good healthiness to it. And you want to add just a cup of water into this as you uh, boil and steam your veggies and all that good stuff. Okay, the garlic, I could smell it so good. All right, so then here's the, um, the pasta that I have that I'm doing with this dish. Same pasta I did with the last one. Um, yeah, and these are just my leftovers. See, I, I always preserve everything. I still have some nice chunks of asparagus and I also have those red skin potatoes. 
I save those babies all the time in my kitchen. So, uh, yeah, let me just put those away. Um, so, however, um, just some salt, some black pepper, and a little bit of more to par parsley towards the end. Um, so let's just go ahead and check on our delicious, delicious, delicious ribs. Oh, look at that. Them babies are cooking. They're cooking. They're splatting and cooking. All right. So another thing I wanted to share with you guys, this dish cooks like very fast. When you do the, um, Mexican th style, uh, ribs, they're very thin, like, like bacon, but they're a little thicker. I have breakfast dishes with these bad boys too so please check them out under my breakfast dishes um and um as long as you have it at a high like about a 300 350 uh for about 15 20 minutes these bad boys cook very fast so this dish is going to be ready in the next like 20 to 25 minutes that is it all right so check me out in a little bit for the final plating your girl
okay guys so I chopped up all my pieces like I told you guys I was gonna do I was gonna simply cut them in between the bone and you guys gotta try this Mexican style rib thin rib slices they're so delicious and I love them just like this in a pasta or with some rice or with just some veggies so good all right so if you see I got a hefty pot here going on all right so now it's time to mix things up I got my soda pop ready for me and my kiddos and my honey and my brother. I got my mozzarella. That mozzarella, of course, goes last, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But we're going to keep tossing here because I also add a little bit of the juice from the rib. Okay, so we do want to add a little bit of that just to give it a nice little flavor to the noodles. Um, so we're going to keep flipping. I got every single piece in this bad boy. So now time for the magic. <laughs> So good, you guys gotta try this dish to die for. It's one of my faves. And um, I will look into the last one that I did that I got many, many views on. Um, and if I don't have it for you today, because I have to edit all this together to get this out to you guys as soon as possible, so you can see your girl chefed up again, and I did it again up in my kitchen. So um, if I don't, I will just show you in the video while I'm speaking to you on the next. Uh, presentation platter that I do in my kitchen all right that looks perfect and I love the fatty pieces too like it's just so good oh my god you guys don't know what you're missing okay I have actually I have to say I have three words for you eat real food in your kitchen all right. so we're gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit of that juice because you do want to wet up the noodles because the noodles get a little dry waiting on these bad boys to get done. So just I would say just do as you as as wet as you like your your noodles. If you like them a little dry, I like mine in between because of the mozzarella. I want a, just an in between touch to them. I don't want too much of anything because I do like to make sure I get that nice bite to this wonderful dish. So this is where the magic comes. The cheese, the mozzarella. Come here, babies. All right, and you just throw them however you like because it's all gonna melt together. Doesn't matter how you cut them up in funky pieces. They're all going in the same pot and they're gonna melt to perfection. So at this point, you wanna crank up your heat, throw your lid on top for about another five minutes and this dish is done. So let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna clip this video and do the other one for the next two minutes while this gets all cheesy up. Yum. This is some good stuff. 
time for my bites. Let's see which way to go. So good, so much goodness in this bag. Oh my goodness, you don't know. about to tear this up <laughs> all right guys final plating bye i don't know when the next time i'll be cooking because i'm still fixing all that stuff upstairs however i'm gonna sit down and enjoy this plate my mouth is watering catch you soon hopefully in the next couple days all right bye and thanks for watching i love you guys so much Mwah.